Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, 1 25 p.m. Um, I didn't know what to put on today to do this little cooking show. And I can see myself as getting fatter, um, gaining more weight. My sister them told me, said, when you quit smoking cigarettes, you're going to gain a lot of weight. So, you know, up in here, uh, that's natural. Uh, I quit smoking almost 14 years ago. Cigarettes, plain cigarettes. Okay, now, uh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful day on this Sunday. I should have been cooking this a little earlier, but, uh, you know, I had to rest. I'm trying to get my hair done, beauty, but, okay, maybe I need to make over my hair. But, anyway, don't know what to do with it. Um, so, I'm Annie Carruthers. Um, I'm here this morning to uh, show y'all how to cook um, turkey ribs. You know, I didn't know anything about turkey ribs until my son uh, told me about it, right? Uh, he said, uh, Mama, he said, uh, I was going to go get some turkey ribs. And I'm like, turkey ribs? I never had that before. He said, is that part up on the shoulder or something? And and he said, woo, they what they cost. And I'm like, okay. And, uh, well, I can tell y'all the price of $150, $160. That's $150, $160. You go to Gordon and you get them and maybe somewhere else. But it was my first time to hear about it. So I went with my son Mother's Day, May the 14th, 2023. And I said, well, uh, I would like to go to store with you, but I'm not going to say the other part. But anyway, it's not nothing, you know, very important. But anyway, and he said, well, okay, Mama, cool. So we rode to the store and I had fun, you know, riding with my son sometime, you know. He, uh, uh, don't get me wrong, son. Uh, you know, some people's out there, they just ride fast. But, you know, he was cool that day because, you know, he had me in the car. And he know I was going to holler, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> anyway, man, I'm too close to the camera. But anyway, uh, these are turkey uh, ribs. You see this? they turkey ribs. The back. They come in a little package like these, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is put these back in the freezer. Of course, my beautiful refrigerator over there that my husband, my son, bought me. If you can see it for my birthday. Thank you, son. Thank you, Tristan. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all the ingredients that I'm going to use to cook these turkey ribs. I had them soaked out last night. I'm going to fry these, okay? I'm going to fry these. And these here... It's just my husband and I today. My son used to come over and eat dinner and his lady his with his friend Erica. But and Jake. But anyway, this right here is the the barbecue ones. I'm gonna barbecue if y'all can see it in this big bowl. I got them soaking in some sauce. And I'm gonna show you the sauce that I got them soaking in. This is liquid smoke. And also this is Louisiana Supreme Steak Season. I didn't have well they beef, you know, but I use that, and they used to have the more expensive bottle, but you know I go the cheapest way. Uh, anyway, also the season I'm going to use on the barbecue is cheyenne pepper and then but a little teaspoon, teaspoon of this Jamaica curry that my son brought me back from when he took his trip. Thank you, son. And also I'm going to use uh, paprika. It's not the smoke kind, but it's the uh, good kind, okay? Finally, and this is a sweet teriyaki. The reason why I say finally because I bought something expensive. Okay, um, then I'm going to put my beef broth. This is and this is not beef broth. I just only had chicken broth, okay? That'll do. Anyway, over here for my frying um, turkey ribs is going to be seasoned salt, the cheap kind, black pepper, and I'm going to use garlic powder, expensive kind. What I'm going to fry my turkey uh, ribs in is going to be a little of this peanut oil. You see that peanut oil? My son, he uh, hit me to this. He said, Mama, you know, a long time ago you should use lard. We all did use lard. Uh, then we saved the grease, you know, I'm trying to cook another week with or whatever, especially with the hot water cornbread. So I'm going to use flour. You see, I got about four or five teaspoons of flour here. So I'm going to batter this up in a few minutes. I'm getting my skillet warm here, so that's warm. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna, I already don't wash my hand, don't get me wrong. I'm a clean cook. I'm gonna spray, put on my season salt ingredients, and then I'm gonna put my flour in. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna batter this up. I don't use eggs, not today, cause I don't feel like going through all that, you know, dipping in eggs, dipping in flour, dipping in this. I don't feel like going through all that today. And I don't use no baking powder today, okay? I'm doing it this kind of shortcut way. Hope it turns out good, which I know it will. And I'm gonna put this in the skillet. I'm using an iron skillet, y'all, as y'all can see it over there. I'm using an iron skillet. You see? If you can see it, I don't know. But that's what I'm using. Put the other piece in there. Set the flour down. Add a little more of this peanut oil. There we go. Gonna let it fry. Okay, got flour on my hand. We are gonna let this fry. Okay. I'm out for the camera right now because I'm rinsing my hands, okay? I have to wash my hands again. Okay, give me some paper towel. You cook, you cook, you cook your um, turkey rib on medium. Um, about, I'm gonna give it about like 30 minutes, maybe less of, cause I like my meat well done. <laughs> well, that was the way to put it, huh? Okay. I'm back over here. I got my fork here. Now they've been cooking for about what? A minute or so? Okay, let it cook like three minutes on each side before you turn it. That's if you like your meat well done. And I'm a type that I like my meat well done, okay? I don't like uh, rare meat. Because I don't think it's good for you, not for me. You know, a lot of people does. A lot of people does. I'm just checking it because it's so fragile. It ain't really been three minutes yet, I don't think so. But they cook so fast on, on full size. But all you have to do is just let it sit there and fry on one side on medium. Use any oil that you want. But I'm recommending peanut, peanut oil or granola. Well, not granola, but you know that... Well, maybe so, that almond oil or uh, coconut oil, you know? Especially if you're trying to, you know, watch your cholesterol. And I'm telling you, we need to. So it's been a couple of minutes now, and I don't know, y'all, if it's been three minutes, because I don't have a timer here. You know what I mean? I don't have a timer, okay? And once it's fried, I'm going to show y'all how it's going to look. And right now they're looking pretty good to me, okay? Well, I'm gonna let the other side fry for about four or five minutes. It's, it's, it's simple, it's like cooking a chicken or something. So uh, now I'm over here. I got my little skillet right here for my, for my rib turkey. Turkey reels, put it that way, okay? I got that. So what I do, I don't not drain this. I don't drain it, cause it already been washed, been soaked overnight and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there, in the skillet here. And one thing about it, I forgot to let you know, you got to have butter. So I got this little package of butter here, individual, right here. I'm gonna put it in my skillet if y'all can see me. I don't know if you can see me. Maybe I need to turn it around something and let y'all see what I'm doing here. Can't you see me now? Huh? This is the stove. I don't think y'all can see the stove, can't you? Okay, uh, it's kind of hard to, you know, film with a telephone, but here is this skillet that I'm using right here. A little skillet on the stove. We're gonna put the butter in, if you can see me. Okay. 
When you let that butter just go a little bit, cut your aisle down some though. I believe I got on the wrong dress this morning because uh, on this camera it's making me look fat. And I can't stand that because if that's the way, if I'm getting this big, I'm going to have to lose some weight quickly. I don't like that because when I was young, I weighed about 120 pounds. Didn't have all of this, but when I had my son, younger days, I developed this, but it runs in my family. So there's something that we can't help. Most black American women do, do have this. And I'm not going to do away with those because I'm just checking on my uh, turkey ribs. I'm not going to do away with it because this is what God gave me. This is who I born with. And uh, I put it this way. My mama gave it to me. So I'm going to keep what my mama gave me. Okay? Uh, and, but the thing is, I'm placing these. Look, in my oven, I'm also going to use this juice. Pour that juice in there. Put the bowl over here. We're going to let that simmer. That's going to take a while. By least, I think this is going to take about like 45 minutes to an hour maybe. Uh, that's going to take a while. I'm checking on my beef ribs, okay? Not my beef ribs, I'm sorry. My turkey ribs. I got a use of saying beef ribs because uh, my son know I like beef a lot. You know? And uh, maybe that's why I'm gaining so much weight. Back in the day, they said, people, I used to hear people say, um, pork is not good for you, okay? Now, back in the day, in my day, um, we couldn't hardly get a pork chop, you know? If we got a pork chop, we thought it was a steak. You know how, we, you, know how you eat uh, salmons in the can or rice and pinto beans, you know? Y'all know what I'm talking about, you know, um, my culture, you know? But anyway, uh, when we was coming up that way, we had to eat stuff like that. Pinto bean, hot water cornbread, even pig feet and neck bones. And I tried to feed my son a pig feet when he was young. He looked at me, Mama, what is this? He was like, where'd she get this foot from? You know? And he didn't have a pet dog or nothing like that, so I couldn't cut the foot off there. I was just a joke. Just a joke. And uh, so he looked at me, he, well, he, I said, just taste it, just taste it, yes. Back in the days, you know, you couldn't afford, especially when you were poor, you had to eat what you had to eat. So I never gave my own, I don't think, remember that I gave my son a pig feet again. I gave him some salmon, he liked the salmon, he peas, he didn't too much like, like he don't too much like it now. And then um, we had rice, he kind of ate that, but he don't sugar in it, you know how that goes. But as you, my day's coming up, you, if you didn't have sugar, you just have to do some black pepper salt or something or put some gravy on that rice and go ahead home, you know? And then it's like, uh, back in the days, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, a Warner burger. You know, a Warner burger is like, I want a piece of meat in my burger. Yes, I'm using that. And, uh, and a wish burger is I wish I had some meat. Because I'm going to tell you how you used to do. Get a piece of light bread and put some mustard hot sauce on it. Whatever you put mayonnaise or whatever you put on your bread. And you just pretend like you had a piece of meat in between your sandwich. That's a wish burger. Or you just take the grease out of the skillet like I'm frying now and put your piece of bread on there. And just go to town. You think you're really eating. Well, we, I know, I'm not saying that we was that poor, but it was a lot of us, you know, coming up in my family. It was 13 of us in our family, okay? Now, God, you know, God rest their soul, it's uh, six sisters and one brother left. We're doing fine. Uh, we got a huge niece and nephew. Uh, I only have one child, and I have a doctor child, and I have a... Uh, Four grandbabies and two great grandbabies and two wonderful, wonderful ladies, you know, that I really like and adore, okay? Uh, Y'all know who I'm talking about, and uh, one of them have a great son. Um, so, I'm going to get back to that gossiping stuff, because I can gossip all day. Now, now I'm showing y'all, this is still fine. How long has it been, y'all? Let me. I got to get something to make sure I know. I have a clock on the wall. 
And I'm gonna make sure that I know how long has it been. Now I turn them over and I'm gonna start paying attention, okay? Okay, it's 1.40. It's 1.40 p.m. here, okay? And uh, my, you see how my turkey's coming out? The uh, barbecue turkey, if you can see it? And it smells good. And then I'm gonna add my season in a minute. That's one thing I forgot to do. But I really don't wanna add my season until this gets, you know, like I wanted, the way I wanted to cook. Cause this is gonna simmer in my uh, the season that I have for my turkey rib. It's gonna season in this. Okay. Now this is doing pretty good. Do y'all hear that sizzling? How would y'all like to see it? Mm -hmm. I will let you see one. I will let you see one, but they're not done yet. You see how I fried that? Woo! That smoke smells good. Thank you, son, for telling me about these. Woo! Smells good. Now, okay, son, you always wanted me to do a cooking show. Here I am. And I just hope everybody, you know, look at this and uh, two thumbs up, subscribe, share, and like. No bad comments, just good ones, okay? Now, all right, we're going to cut the skillet down again. We got to cut it back down. Oh, these are frying real good. I mean, they so tender. You ought to see how tender they are. They are tender and delicious. Just look at them. It don't take long for those to cook. I'm going to add a more peanut oil in it. I'm using a cast iron skillet, okay? This is a cast iron skillet. That's what I'm using. to A cast iron skillet to fry those Turkey ribs in I am not used to that name. That's the reason why I keep saying, you know, I got to think for a minute. Because I'm not used to that name. Now look how these are turning up. You see this? This is already, this is the barbecue one. This is already tearing up. It don't take long. It just don't take long for them to cook. No, it don't. It don't take long at all. Now I'm going to add I'm going to add a little of this broth in here. Just a little. Okay. It don't take long for these to cook. It just don't take long. Okay. I can plate it up. Because it don't take really long. So, I say to fry them, take about like 12 minutes. Six on each side. But maybe a little longer for y'all, you know. But they already ready. I'm going to show you something. I can take them out the skillet. You see as I'm taking them out the skillet? I love my cast iron skillet. You can see them up on the wall there. I have a grand big one over here in the corner there and I have another one on the wall. Okay, these are finished. Can't you see them? They're finished and they smell so good. So good. And I did them once before I fried them and they taste pretty good, okay? Now you can put anything you want with them, but I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a little secret there. Second, those are still boiling. Let me see. Now, I didn't do vegetables, okay? I didn't do no vegetables, but I usually, with these, I usually have like broccoli, uh, mac and cheese, or you can use. My favorite, turnip greens, uh, mashed potatoes. You can use what you want. Whatever you want to use, you can use. So <clears throat> I'm plating up a little bit of this. And just to make it a little spicy, and if you don't want to go through all of those vegetables, see, I made my own peacock. See what I'm saying? Chopped tomatoes and um, 
onions and a jalapeno pepper, a little lemon juice, a little olive oil, a little pinch of salt. So uh, I'm going to use some of this. I'm going to plate it up, and I'm going to show you all how I'm going to do this, okay? This is the way I, I do it because if you're trying to go on a diet and lose a little weight like I need to, uh, I look big in dresses. I might look big in pants. But my son said I was skinny. He said, Mama, you skinny. Well, he did tell me that once before. I'm like, I like it like that. Because that way you can eat what you want. Your potassium is real high. This is jalapeno peppers that I pickle. You see the jar, don't you? As you get older, you start doing stuff like it, what I do. Okay, you can use one of those if you want. Also, I have some pickled carrots in here. I let them set up by three days. And I love my... I love my beets. I really, really, really love my beets. I really do. Now those, I really love pickled beets. I love to cook them for a little bit of snack or whatever. You know, you can do that. And I'm looking at my barbecue ribs over here. They still going, okay? Now, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is a little. I don't have parsley, but I use to sprinkle a little parsley on my uh, food when I eat it. And if you do not have, if it's not salty enough, you can use Mrs. Dash, okay? This is Mrs. Dash. Uh, they got all flavor. Uh, I sprinkle a little bit on there like that. I mean, it's going to take a while for me to lose some weight, I guess, but that's just the way it is. Now, here it is. If y'all can see my plate right here, can y'all see that plate? You see, and this is good. this is a good way to eat, y'all. This is uh my pico I made, if I'm pronouncing it right, my jalapeno pepper that I did, uh, canned or jarred, and this is the uh, fried turkey reels. <laughs> I hope I can remember that, y'all. Remember that, son. But you know what? This is pretty good here. And now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a bite of this. Excuse me, y'all, okay? I usually have a little knife or something if you want to be polite and cut it. Or you can just finger it like we do, you know? And now look at this. This is so hot. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Then you just, mmm, eat a little pico. Oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all something. These carrots, they are spicy. Uh oh. <laughs> y'all notice that I haven't bit that pepper yet? Cause I have to get off the screen and bite that cause I need water. That's gonna have to, mm. That's good. I hope y'all try it. Don't forget. Turkey ribs. That's what they are. You can go to Gordon store if they got one and Nashville, I don't know nothing about Chicago, Illinois, or Springfield, or whatever. New York, I don't know nothing about Pennsylvania, but Google the stores up and see where they got them at. But thank you, son. Now, I'm getting back over here with my uh, barbecue. Okay, we gotta see about this one now, y'all. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have to invest my money into a real camera one day. You know what? Maybe that's another thing that I should ask for Christmas for my son and my husband. Okay. Hi, Tori. Um, maybe I should. Okay. And that is another thing I should do. But I don't know how I look on here, but you know how you're getting older and you know how that goes. So um, I try 
to do my best to keep my figure. But you know what? I likes to sing and I likes to dance. This cooking show, uh, it's not really for me, but if I get some two thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share, no bad comments, I'm going to keep this up. <laughs> my son, he the one suggest this. Because you know I like to cook a lot. Back in the day, I did. <laughs> and I do when I have company over. I cook about five or six different meats, five or six different vegetables. But one thing I don't have to leave out is my turning greens. I love my greens. I love the purple top. I love the purple top is kind of bitter. And, uh, but if you cook it right, you'll be okay. I used to put the fat meat in it, but smoke hog mob and all that old crap. Smoke of uh, ham, country ham. I like smoked turkey. Okay, smoked turkey. Now, smoked turkey is a good way to go. Okay, now look at this. You see this? It's already tearing apart and smoking. Now we got to add our stuff to this. We can't let this go too long. I don't know if y'all can see me way over here, but I'm doing what I can with my camera, okay? With my phone. Now I put a little more of that broth in there and I got to turn my eye out down a little bit, okay? Now I'm finna sprinkle my uh, ingredients in here. All of it. It's about two or three spoons of everything, okay? Teaspoons. And I did show you the ingredient I used. Also, I'm gonna put a little more of this chicken broth. I'm gonna have to get some beef broth and turkey broth right here. Uh, I mean, I ain't really seen no turkey broth, but I'm gonna have to, okay? I'm gonna have to do something. And uh, I'm letting this simmer some. It's thickening up like, a, that, that sauce thickening up like a gravy. If you don't put too much water in it, you just, I mean water or, well you can use plain water if you want to, too, in this barbecue turkey uh, ribs. And if you want to use plain water in your barbecue turkey ribs, you can. But I decided to use broth. I got that from my son. He used broth in a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, really, you know, we kind of cook alike, but uh, we got different, you know, a kind of different flavoring, you know. And my son, he can cook. Now, don't get me wrong. He can cook. He got it from his mom, okay? Yes, he did. Of course, his grandmama taught him when he was younger, too. Had him on the stove, I think, about three or four years old. Okay, but... He got it from his mom and put it that way. Got it from his mom and put it that way. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more broth a little bit at a time. Cook on medium. I keep making a mess over here, y'all. I don't know why. I guess the little skillet too little, but I'm not doing nothing but two a piece because there's nobody here. My husband and I miss it. There's nobody here because we, you know, but my husband. Tristan, he is a big eater. Like all men, most men like to eat. Most of them, I don't know, but that's the way it goes sometimes. You have some women. You have some women that like to eat too a lot now. Don't get me wrong. We ain't gonna put it all on the guys, okay? Okay, fellas. Fellas, I got you back. So, we're not gonna put it all on the guys that likes to eat a lot, okay? So, I'm just walking around here, doing my thing. Sorry about the noise, y'all. Uh, okay. Yeah, buddy. Get it going and good. See, hear me, hear me? It's just my thing that I, I just like to sing, y'all. I just love to sing. I can't help myself, but that's just the way it is with me. If y'all can hear me over there, I hope you can. I'm over here by the refrigerator. Um, I'm looking for some things. Yeah. Okay. Um, excuse me, y'all, but uh, I'm looking for some things here. Uh. Okay, I got what I need y'all, okay? I made a salad last night, so I was just looking for it. Okay. All right.
righty now. All righty. My uh, ribs is doing good. Yeah. The ribs are doing fine. Okay. We just, we let that go for another hour, you know, but uh, it wasn't quite an hour. You, you do your sauce and you do your uh, rib after they done. Your ribs for your uh, barbecue rib, if you want to use barbecue sauce, you can. You make your own sauce or eat it plain. But uh, for those ribs that I did, you cook those uh, for about 15 minutes. Seven and a half minutes on each side, unless you want to cook them longer. It's up to you, because they, they don't take long to cook. You know, it's up to you. And they be done all the way through. I said D-O-N, done all the way through. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, plate up one. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm looking for my. There we go. I usually mix my own dressing, but I'm gonna use Italian. I like the Italian fat-free dressing. If you can see it from Kroger's or whatever, cheap bottle, about a dollar and twenty-nine, forty-nine cents. They used to be a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree done gone up and up extra quarter now. So we're going to use some of this, okay? So for that, for that, if I had pickles, I would put a piece of pickle on it, but I don't have pickles today. So I'm going to have to skip the pickles, okay? Now, if you want this a little extra spicy, and if you like a little extra spicy, and I'll show you the cayenne pepper that I use, you can get this. I mean, this don't take but a couple of drops and it will knock you out for anybody that likes spice. You understand what I'm saying? And you can go to the, like the, uh, um, the, um, Trader Joe's. You can go to Trader Joe's and get it. I'm trying to think y'all. Okay. You can go to Trader Joe's or Whole Food and get it. Uh, then, if you want it, you can use this Old Bay hot sauce. <laughs> and you can buy this anywhere. Kroger's, Walmart, whatever. Now, I'm finna plate up one of these delicious ribs, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all something, how I'm gonna plate it up. And they so tender. Look at this. Oh my God. Just look at that. Lord have mercy. Now tell me. Son, thank you for telling me about that. I'm going to put a little of this sauce on it. I'm just drizzling a little sauce on it, y'all, okay? That's what I'm doing. Now, look at that. Ain't that delicious? Okay, give me a minute, and I'm going to show y'all what else I'm going to do to it. Got it, dog. Okay. Can't help myself, son. Everything I do, I have to sing. You know, I sing when I'm happy. I'm singing when I'm sad. I'm sometimes I sing when I'm mad. You ought to hear the song when I sing when I'm mad. Woo! Y'all don't want to hear that. I know you don't. Okay. I'm plating up a little salad here. That's for people who wants to go on a diet or not a diet. It don't make me no different. But right now, what I did, I don't need all of this. I just on in here got I got some chopped onions and some celery and some cheese. I got that uh no fat shredded cheese. And this is the salad right here. You can also put a little bit of peacock on here if you want. On your salad. You can also add eggs, whatever you want, turkey bacon, or whatever you want. Okay? Me myself, I'm not adding all of that today. So, I'm just doing me, just doing me, okay? Okay, now, then, this is how it look. Don't that look good? To me, it's going to taste good. But I don't need no more sauce. I hope y'all try this recipe, okay? Try it. Tell me how you like it, okay? Um, but you can add whatever season you want. I don't care. It's up to you. But I know what I like, okay? Now, this is it. This is my dinner. Now look at this. Watch this. I'm gonna try the salad first in the peacock. Oh. Woo! 
Let me try a little of this ribs, okay? Hold on, y'all. Give me a minute. I'll let y'all know how that tastes. I'm going to dip it in the sauce. Watch this. Licking good. Can't y'all see me? Yes. Can't y'all see me? <laughs> this is delicious. Delicious. Ooh. Lord, I'm glad my son told me about that. He know how to eat. Mm. Make you want to do a dance. <laughs> This is good. Now I'm gonna get my face out the camera. Get my face out the camera, stand way back over here. But you know what? I'm gonna put this down for a minute, okay? Cause I've been on stood there and ate that whole plate. Now this is how that I cook my turkey ribs. That's how I do it and I want y'all to subscribe, share, and like. No bad comments. Give me two thumbs up, y'all. Try this recipe, okay? Try it. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna invest myself into a good camera one day. And that's what I'm thinking about, son. You and Tristan. You're gonna get me a camera. Okay. Yes, I said that. Okay. I hope y'all like this channel, okay? I hope y'all did. Uh, if you did, hit that ding dong button for me. And I'll see y'all later. Love you, son. Tristan. Hey, Tori family. Bye-bye. Peace to everybody out there. <laughs>